180 centimeters tall, weighing in at 83.6 kilos, holding a perfect mixed martial arts record of 10 wins and no losses. Training out of Dagestan Fighter, representing Russia. Please welcome Murad Introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He is a former one welterweight world champion, standing at 180 centimeters tall and weighing in at 83.9 kilos, holding a mixed martial arts record of 12 wins and six losses. Training out of Legacy Gym and Pancrase Gym, Sweden, representing Sweden. Introducing Sebastian, the Pan it and when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Justin Brown. Athlete center. Athlete center, please. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. Let's keep this match clean. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Let's watch the back of the head. Let's watch the low blows. Touch gloves if you want. Back up. The former two-time welterweight world champion on the comeback trail tonight against a man who will do anything to get a title crack. Good. Sebastian Katastam. Judge. 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 Murad Rabazanov. Rabazanov wants it on the ground. Judge. Sebastian wants to keep it standing. Let's see if... The elbows can come into play early and the knees from Sebastian Katastam. The most knockouts in one welterweight history. Ramazanov 10 and 0, 70% finishing rate. Looking loose at the moment. Katastam fires up the high left round kick. Yeah, he's circling around, trying to stay light on his feet. That's important. You don't want to stand stationary in front of Murad Ramazanov because he's got a great blast, double leg. You can see Murad's trying to be patient, keeping his hands nice and high. He knows those high kicks are going to be coming from Sebastian. Patient start here from Ramazanov. Sebastian trying to thread that lead hand. Good head movement so far from the Swede. Ramazanov's got a decent right hand on him. He's got a cocked and ready here. Can he pull the trigger on it though? There it goes. It's a right hand to a single leg attempt. Yeah, this... Katastam trying to stay vertical here, Dragon. This is going to tell us a lot. This first takedown attempt here from Murad Ramazanov. He's got that underhook on his right side. Let's see how he uses He might try to turn and put him down onto his right side, or he might try to transition into another takedown. This is going to be very important for Sebastian Katastam's not only scoring, but also for his confidence as well. If he can stop this takedown, it's going to lead him you know, for greater confidence as this match goes on. But Murad Ramazanov has changed into a single leg. Michael for high crotch. Can he affect the takedown? One minute 40 already down in the first round set for three. Remember, judge is an overall contest, not as three individual rounds. Nice little move right there to try to take out that lead support leg of Sebastian. Sebastian might want to try to widen his legs a little bit to have a little bit better balance here. He's doing a good job with his left hand, keeping that overhook to keep Murad Ramazanov from doing this, changing levels. Good job by Sebastian Katasam so far. What is Ramazanov trying to do by hooking the leg here, Dragon? He's trying to create, disrupt the balance. You can see right here, he might be trying to pull him to his right, but he chooses to go the other way. Nice little elevation there and takes him down. So with uh, Ramazanov inside the guard of the former two-time world champion, what does Katastam need to do and be careful of here? Oh, he's going to try to, uh, from this position, the only thing more Ramazanov can really do is ground and pound. So he's utilizing... You can see now he's trying to pass into half guard. He pushes down the left leg of Sebastian Katasam. Now he's in the half guard. Now he's got heavy ground and pound. Mua Ramazanov likes this position. It's going to be important for Sebastian Katasam to get flat on. He does not want to stay flat on his back. He wants to be on his left shoulder so he can create some kind of movement. He doesn't want to allow Mua Ramazanov to flatten him out and start laying in those big paws to his face. Looking for the elbow to the top of the noggin there is Katasam. 
Abbasov, uh, Ramazanov, I should say, in this advantageous position, goes Lost body, the then head. goes head off the left hand. Just a caution for the referee not to strike the back of the head. Tries to rake the elbow across the jawline and shave the stubble of Katastar. So you can see how Katastar's being active in the half guard here. He's trying to create movement. He's trying to avoid this, right? We don't want to. You don't want to see uh, Murad Ramazanov getting that left leg out from between the legs and passing the guard into full mount. You can see that's what he's trying to do. Now he's in the quarter. Oh no! Mount. Now he's there. Now he's in full mount. Bad spot for Sebastian Katastar to be. Sebastian needs to create that movement, and he's going to give up his back in the process but nice little float over there and look at this Kanastan back to his feet gets out of a sticky predicament backed up against the wire now I've been watching a lot of training footage from Kanastan on IG and we're seeing that he's trying to really scramble he doesn't want to stay still it's very taxing to scramble like this to always be moving it's very difficult it's drains on your gas tank and it can just suck a lot of your energy out but it's very important that he stays mobile in these grappling exchanges he needs to create these scrambles Sebastian's got those dagger elbows. You can see him cracking down to the collarbone, to the tricep area of Ramazan. Justin Brown encouraging more action from both men here. What's Ramazanov trying to affect with 20 seconds to go, Dragon? He's trying to go for that body lock. He's trying to get his legs and his hands wrapped around the body, but Sebastian's doing a good job with the wizard, but he gives up his back in the process. Looks like the Let's round is going to come to an end. Ramazanov could get a big takedown here in the last 10. Spinning back elbow, possibly for Sebastian. Stop! There it is, end of the round. Down on that head, create space, create movement. He did a good job in the first five. Let's see if he can continue in the second. Ramazanov faking. How long will it take for the Russian to get it to the ground? Round kick there from Katastam. Circles off clock, counterclockwise. Staying away from that right side, the power side. Ramazanov pretty much only uses the punches to close the distance, to kind of get his feet into position and into that range to shoot for the single leg. Time. This is Other really way. important for Sebastian to start touching him up on the feet and also hurt him Injury as time. he's coming in. When Ramazanov tries to close that distance, Kakarasam needs to throw uppercut. When you get around, hit in the groin, nerve signals get launched to the brain at a speed of around 265 miles an hour. I thought you might like to know that, Dragon. Super fast. Very fast. Left hook, no right hand for company, though. Look to drop the lead down to the body there, Katastan. Can he employ some of the Muay Thai skills here? Left hook again, but no follow through. No kicks underneath and no right cross. You can see it's kind of a tale of two athletes with Ramazanov. On the feet, he's wide-eyed. He's trying to stay composed, but he does this. But when it's the minute he gets in tight with that body lock and he starts working for those takedowns, he becomes a completely different beast. Good balance so far by Kadastan, but again, it's these takedown attempts. They just keep coming with Ramazanov. This is going to be important for him right here to maintain this half guard. I like the movement from Kadastan in the first five minutes, but you can see that Ramazanov just slowly broke him down with his advancing of position. That's the definition of ground control. If you can get on top of somebody and not just lie in their guard, but advance your position, move to half guard, move to mount, that's how you gain ground control. And that scores a lot higher than just aggression. Comments from a bloke who knows what he's talking about. Congratulations on your purple belt, by the way, Mitch. Thank you very much, sir. Long time. Took you long enough. <laughs> Half guard position here for Murad Ramazanov. He comes in undefeated 10 0. Four knockouts, three submissions. Ramazanov, a win tonight should put him in contention for a world title showdown with Cameron Abbasov. But can Katastam get to his feet? He did in the first round, Dragon. Yeah, he was able to, but he did that off of a kind of a mistake by Ramazanov, and he just he adjusted his position to get the back, and he just slid off the top. When it's in these positions, it's going to be a lot harder because Murad Ramazanov is so calculating in his movement, right? You can see now he's, he's trying to advance into, you know, like a three-quarter mount, how he's trying to get his knee through that position, but Ramazanov is having a hard time getting past the half guard of Kadastan because Kadastan is pretty active here. He's doing a good job of moving around and, def and staying active from this half guard position. 
Still in half guard, Ramazanov, two minutes remain, second round of three. Controlling opening, five minutes it was from Ramazanov. There were moments for Katastam in the striking, but nothing you could truly affect to phase Murad. Body shots here from the Russian, dribbles a knee. Remember, knees to the head of a grounded opponent are legal under our global mixed martial arts rule set. It's interesting with the head position of Ramazanov. See how he keeps his head on, uh, like almost underneath the arm, and that really negates the fact that uh, Kadastam is trying to dig an underhook so he can create some movement. This is where the scramble happened in the first five. Let's see what happens here in the second attempt here. Good job. That was a float over. Nice job by Ramazanov to maintain that back position. Back down again on his knees. Genuflect position now for Kadastam. Yeah. This is so draining, Michael, to have some a grappler like Ramazanov on top of you and he's just changing positions, wearing on you. But to Kadasam's credit, he was able to get back up to his feet. It's similar to like we see from the champ, the two division champion, Renio Duri. Yeah. Uh, but. It's, it's a little bit different style. Like, Rainier de Ritter has more of a BJJ style. You can see with his submission attempts. Ramazanov is just trying to manhandle people. He's just trying to ragdoll you. He, his takedown attempts, his guard passing, and his ground and pound. Which one did you always dread going up against, the wrestler or the BJJ guy? It's the wrestler. It's this type of style. This is demoralizing to get on top. You know, you can make defend submissions, and you can also try to create scrambles and movement. But when you're dealing with a wrestler of this capability, they're used to doing this everything you do is just draining you try to get up and it sucks the energy out of you when he drags you back down you try to stand up like he's doing here and he keeps the body lock and he's going to get you back it. down Don't again it. and it's just it's it drains on your soul you see justin brown telling sebastian not to hang on to the cage try for a spinning back elbow still in it we've seen sebastian knock people out in those later rounds so he can still do it but he's got to take advantage of it right here but i think he's gun shy because he's worried about the takedown is that why dragon do dare throw a leg kick against a wrestler like this or not i haven't seen ramazanov really catch a lot of leg kicks and charge forward but it's i wouldn't mind seeing some calf kicks coming from katastam he's got a good low kick it's hard to reach down that low to catch a calf kick so that might be a good strategy but this is his opportunity these are his shining glimmers of hope where he can really start to do something left hook there from sebastian he was doing that in the second round throwing the left hook but there was no right cross for company and that's the problem here you see, he's, he's throwing the looping hand. Ramazanov's backing away from it. And while he's on the back foot, Sebastian has to come through with something else, not just rely on these single punches. But he also has to close that distance. And every time he closes that distance, that's when he's getting taken down. But is it a risk he needs to take, Dragon? At this point, because it's not, nothing else is working for him. At this point, yes. You know, I think in the second round, he was hesitant. You know, right around that minute seven mark, he was hesitant because he was taken down. He was dragged out. But here, he's got to go for it. Three minutes 40 remaining in the comeback of Sebastian Karasam, the former two-time world champion. Says he wants the gold again, prepared to go on another run for it, but a big hurdle should he lose tonight. Ramazanov, should he win, will most likely get a crack at Cameron Abasov, the champion. And what a match that would be. But you cannot rule out Sebastian. He has shocked us throughout his entire career when people wrote him off and he proved the critics wrong time and time again. He's overcome tremendous personal difficulties and here he is at the top of the world once more and throwing that high kick. Would love to see him on the inside, launch the elbows and the knees, but maybe he's going to get taken down again in a moment. See, that's what happens when he commits to the right hand, Michael. You wanted to see him throw the left hook and then the right hand. As soon as he throws the right hand, Mua Ramazanov has a very good sense of distance, and he knew that he would be close enough to get the body lock, get the takedown, and now he's sitting there in mount. 
It's a bad spot to be. Let's see if he chooses to give up his back again and try to create a scramble here. So Sebastian's been mounted in every round so far, right, Dragon? Yeah, see, here he is. He's given up his back, but good job. He gave up the back, waited for him to try to take the back, and then he pushed down on the left, the right leg of Murad Ramazanov to get back into half guard. That was tricky. Murad trying to mount him again, does for a second time in this round. Let's see what the Russian can do from here. Is he going to posture up and land the GMP? Trying to buck him there to Sebastian. Yep, there he is, giving up the back again. He's trying to go underneath the leg there that time. But Ramazanov knew it, and he, he's doing better work inside mount. He's trying to drive the hips down, I think, to prevent. Because he watched Kazam. Karasam does it again. Is, is that a common defense against someone mounting you to give you back like that? Um, you Sometimes, I think. But he's also got a pretty good technique of waiting for that leg to kind of slide over and to get a hook in from Ramazanov. And then when he feels that leg coming over, he pushes it down into half guard. It's a nice little uh, technique to maintain it. But Ramazanov just keeps coming forward, trying to advance the position into mount. It might just be a good idea for Ramazanov just to sit here and utilize ground and pound. It is this grinding, draining performance that the Dragons spoke about earlier on. Work to finish. Murad Ramazanov just firing out Sebastian Katasan. You hear Justin Brown saying work the finish. He's mounted him again here, Ramazanov. All over Sebastian on the ground. And with 45 seconds to go, time is the big enemy of the Swede. Side control now for Murad. Oh, knee cracked him on the orbital. It was like an eggshell exploding. My goodness. That hurt me just looking at a dragon. <laughs> Ramazanov sitting here in mount now. Let's see if Karasam tries that sneaky little escape again. Was it the fourth mount this round? Yeah, this is a, well, it's just kind of been a constant positional change. Um, from Ramazanov. Ramazanov's got the body triangle right now. He floats over into mount. He's trying to look for that finish. He's trying to get the stoppage win here. I know he wanted to get a big stoppage win, but Karasam's got much better in his takedown defense and his uh, his grappling ability. Last minute, last second attempt, I should say, for a choke there from uh, Murad Ramazanov. And oh, wow. Was that the knee to the head that busted him open? My goodness. Ramazanov dominant on the ground dragon for 15 minutes. Yeah, that, that knee right there could have been the eggshell <laughs> that you were speaking of. After three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have called this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner. Zanov goes 11 and 0. And you better believe he wants his shot at the world's champion, Cameron Abasov. Tremendous wrestling, a grinding performance, punishing Sebastian Katastam on the ground consistently.